Hey guys, John Riley. Just want to do a quick, uh, another quick video and just talk a little bit about uh, cordage a little bit. And, you know, everyone loves a 550 cord, and I love it too. And uh, sometimes you're out, maybe you don't have some with you, so it's always good to carry some with you and have different ways of, of carrying it. So um, today, maybe I go out for a day hike. I find myself needing cordage. I don't have any, but luckily I have dun -dun -dun -dun, my hat band, which is basically easily secured. Uh, 550 paracord done in a uh, in a, um, a daisy chain. The daisy chain is pretty neat. It's it's kind of cool looking. It's a very simple knot work, and the beauty of it is all I have to do is grasp the ends, pull it loose, and I have about 15 feet of parachute cord right there ready to go. All right. So what I'm going to do is just show you real quick. The whole purpose of this video really is just to show you quickly how to begin the uh, the daisy chain knot work. All right. So what I'm going to do is I have my cord here. This is a pretty long length. I think this is about maybe 12 or 15 feet. So I'm just going to touch the ends together, all right, and then go back and find the middle of the rope. I'm going to take it in my fingers and make a loop. Oh, cat's getting some piece of the action here. Once I make a loop, I'm going to wrap it around and pull it underneath, like so. It almost makes like a little knot there. And then that's the that's the, the primary knot. Then what I'm going to do from there is I'm going to reach through the loop. Grab the two strings together and pull them through until they're tight. Reach the loop, grab the two strings together and pull them through. And you see you're starting to make like a chain. Reach, th reach through, pull it through. Now every now and then you'll see the loop starts to grow. Then you grab both the strings, pull it back down to make it a more manageable loop for yourself. You can reach through, pull it through, let it go. Reach through, pull it through, let it go. All right. Reach out, just like that. Grab it, pull it through. Grab it, pull it through. And you'll see you're starting to get a nice little pretty neat looking chain of uh, rope there. If you skirt this right too, you can make a lot of different things like this. You, you can uh, make a strap for your water bottle, maybe even a rifle sling, hat band, anything like that. Or, um, you know, it's just a good way to carry cord too. I carry a lot of cord in pre-cut lengths because I know I'm going to need like six foot lengths for tent stakes or maybe a 30 foot length for a, a ridge line and maybe a 50 foot length for a bear bag. So I might keep all those in my bag daisy chained up so they don't all get tangled and knotted together. I don't got to spend 45 minutes when I get to camp on knotting all my cordage. I keep it all like that. And like I said, the beautiful thing, we got a little length here together. Once I'm ready to go, I just grab the two ends and then the looped end, pull, and I have my cord ready to go. Very simple daisy chain technique. All right, good way to carry cordage. Neat little bushcraft trick. All right, and that's basically it. Easy to do, minute to learn, lifetime to master, years of convenience added onto your, onto your bush kit. All right, so a simple little knot work trick of the daisy chain. All right, we're Bushcraft Bumps. Thanks for watching.